the man that sells cars. You probably already know me. And this is David the Class Clown. <laughs> March. Oh, welcome to March 2022 Joy News! Yeah! <laughs> Yum. On March 3rd is Camp for Joy. Be prepared to have loads of fun with fishing, zip lining, and many more fun activities. Oh no, we forgot our backpacks. Well, I did drive here in a Range Rover, which has like no storage whatsoever. So David, let's go. Excuse me. Yeah? You know, Mr. Alex, that phones are not allowed on the bus on the way to camp. This is a scenario that can happen to you. Remember, no phones on the bus. And this um, Camp for Joy is a little different. Don't bring any suitcases. We're not sleeping over. Let's have a great time at camp. We will have the next day, March the 4th, off from school so that we can sleep in and recovering from that day of partying. Do you have a pet? reptile or amphibian that needs taken care of while you're going out of town? Well, my business is the right place for you. My name's Hale. And this is Snapper. And my business is BeardyBuddy.com. You can contact me on Instagram. And if you don't have a reptile or amphibian, well, then you might need to find somewhere else to take care of it. March 14th to 18th is spring break. Spring break, 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 spring break. This is Alex from Alex's Used Car Sales. Right now for sale, we have a 1999 Toyota Sienna, and it is better than this Lamborghini Huracan because it can fit six of my girlfriends. <laughs> Pick it up now for $5,000! <laughs> On March 20th, it's the first day of spring! No more cold! Uh, oh. I'm gonna try and find the, uh, the noodle cake. The noodle there we go, I found it. <laughs> okay. What do you call a disguised noodle? What? An impasta. Ha, ha, ha. This town is a place where you can go and pretend like you have a job, like old people do. <coughs> Mr. Lee. Middle school will earn money. And you can go there and shop and buy stuff with your fake money. It starts at 9 and ends at 3.30. Let's go, old people! Yeah! Yeah! Old people rock! On March 29th, it is the TGS Book Fair and Student Showcase. For the book fair, make sure to ask your parents for or guardians for some money to buy books. Oh, for the showcase, your work from classes will be displayed for your parents or guardians to see. Great. Hello, everyone. Today, I will be doing, uh, what is it called? Teachers Exposed. Teachers Exposed. And today I'm with Mr. Lee, and we're, I'm gonna be asking him a few questions. I'm here with Mr. King. And today I'm with Miss Guys. Mr. Lee, what were your favorite hobbies as a kid? My favorite hobbies as a kid, uh, I liked uh, playing pranks on people. <laughs> really, I was really mischievous as a kid. I still like playing pranks on people. Uh, video games, too. What was your favorite Nintendo game? Favorite Nintendo game. 
Oh, that's tough. I liked this little fighting game called Double Dragon when I was a kid. I like Nintendo games. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite? Um, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. It's pretty fun. I love baseball. I didn't like softball, I liked baseball. So I played with the boys team, which probably doesn't surprise yeah. you. Uh, and then I loved skateboarding. Um, I could never do an ollie or a kickflip or anything, but I liked to move. Uh, and I played viola. What's viola? Yeah, viola is like a violin. It's in between a violin and a cello. And my school orchestra needed one, so I was the only one, which meant I got to be first chair, which if you're in orchestra, <laughs> is a big deal, but it's really because I was the only one. Yeah. So I got all the viola parts. Um, no, I didn't have, I, I, I can't say I really had any, uh, any hobbies that I remember uh, back then. Um, I like to play the, I, back then I was playing the piano. You don't so you I guess play that the was guitar? A, I do play the guitar, oh. but I also play the piano, so. What were your like favorite things to do? Back when I, back when I was this age in my photo, my favorite things to do were play outside. Um, we would go down to the bayou and play because I was on the outskirts of town, practically out in the country. Uh, we would play in tree houses. Uh, we would swing on ropes. Uh, we would do a lot of things outdoors. We would play scrimmage football. We would play uh, little street games of uh, baseball. Like and we would play board games uh, with my friends. We used to do that and play cards even. But like, like, like decade or generation was this like, like 19 something? This would have been when I was seven or eight years old, that would have been between like uh, 1966 and 1967. Man. Um, you guys have goosebumps still? Do they read? Like, I loved reading goosebumps. I like to look at cartoons and try to draw them. Um, did they like, make the movies for like goosebumps when you were a kid? They did more so for my brother who's four years younger than me. So that was a big thing for him, I remember. Um, but yeah, the book fair, I would just like fill them up all goosebumps all the time. So mostly that. And then I had some fun neighbors who always found something interesting to do in our neighborhood getting into getting into stuff you know yeah <laughs> favorite things to do uh i really liked playing basketball with my friends um i liked i uh, read a lot and i like traveling with my family what kind of books did you like read oh everything uh i read i don't know if you're familiar with the red wall books it's about like mice that fight in these wars and all that stuff i read that uh star wars lord of the rings do they use like little pencils to fight <laughs> Uh, that would be really cute, but no, they actually had like swords and stuff yeah. like that, yeah. <laughs> Did you like candy or like were you like, didn't like it? Oh, I love candy. Yeah, I still do. Like I work in the Dean's office, which is just a cavity yeah. waiting to happen. Every time I look at that candy, I just want to have it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on by after this. <laughs> I got you. Um, I wasn't big on candy uh, because my father was a dentist and when we would eat candy he would say he would mutter under his breath and say things like rot your teeth <laughs> which kind of put me off candy yeah um, last question did you like uh did you like really like uh your subject science or but you said you were like a math teacher so like did you like math or science more um i did not like math growing up um and so when I eventually taught it, I tried to make it fun. Uh, I didn't like science until I had the right science teacher who taught me about all the weird things that are out there, like weird animals that can like do crazy and scary things to you. Yeah. So that's when I started to like It's science. like really about the right teacher probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Reading and writing, I always liked. I did like that. This, the subject I had the hardest time with was math. I think everyone has a hard time with it, except for math teachers. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe so. So that's a funny question, because my friends laugh because I was like student body president when I was a kid, so I was in charge of whatever, student government, um, and I would DJ lunch, and so they're like, now you're a principal and a DJ, that was a big, <laughs> a big life change for you. Um, but yeah, I think I was often in the principal's office, either trying to get something passed for other students, or because I couldn't stop talking in class. I talked way too much in class. So. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks. This Have was a fun. Good day.
Thanks, you too. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. King. You are welcome. And have a good day. Okay, you too. Samira, bye. Bye. Signing off, this is David the Class Clown. And by the way, did you like my circus? Let's get in a round of applause for my girlfriends! Woo! On March 30th, <laughs> <laughs> don't be like, <laughs> take two action. On March 3rd, <laughs> come on. Okay, that's <laughs> it. Wait, this is the thing. Boom. Boom. Real quick, one second. One second, ready? <laughs> on March 3rd, is camp. <laughs> you are. <laughs> On March 3rd is join you. <laughs> oh, my peanut sized brain is messing up. That's his fault. What? Stop it. Bro, I Scene two, take seven action. You're sick. It's too loud, and then all of a sudden she's a fair. On, and a student's showcase. You in the back. I was laughing because Mr. Lee started laughing. Bring <laughs> <laughs> the Rock Johnson as a. Squidward. On, the On March 29th is.